Today I figured we'd touch on an extremely popular designer line, one of my personal favorites, including its newest release, which I deem one of the best releases of 2021. I'm talking about the Azaro Wanted line. We're going to cover all four, so stay tuned. Starting with the original release, that being Azaro Wanted, a steal of a cheapie, pretty much the entire line, because even the newest release is starting to hit discounters, most recently at 100 ml for 60 bucks at Kingdom Fragrance, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But Azaro Wanted, you know, initially touted as an Invictus ripoff, basically, because the opening does have that sweet aquatic smell that Invictus is known for. The difference here though, you have a spicy heart and dry down. That's what I like about it. For the fall, for the springtime, this is actually a lovely fragrance that does not really get any praise anymore because of its flankers being just so good. Minus one, of course, but the original DNA, you still smell throughout the line. It's ever present. The flankers don't veer too far from what the original was about. That being that sweet, aquatic, mass appealing, attractive opening with this spicy, sexy type of heart and dry down. There's some woods, there's a few other things going on, but when you break it down in its simplest form, it's sweet, it's a little bit aquatic, and it's very spicy. Spices can really add an alluring quality to an aroma. And Azara Wanted definitely has that in spades. Another th beautiful point about this fragrance is the performance is fantastic. Even for the original Eau de Toilette like I have here, this is an eight hour fragrance on my skin. It projects very heavy in the first two hours. So if performance is very important to you, you'll definitely like what Azara Want Wanted has to offer. While it does have a similar opening to a lot of other fragrances that utilize that Invictus type of opening, including Invictus itself, if that's a bit of a turnoff for you, you might want to steer clear of this, but it does come into its own as it starts to dry down because it becomes so much more spicy. That's the original Azaro Wanted. The next flanker to come out in the line is hands down the most popular in the line, one of the most popular designer fragrances on the market, that being Azaro Wanted by Night. This is a big 5.1 ounce bottle. That's why it's, it went from a 50 ml to a 5.1 ounce. So what's special about this one, it takes that original's DNA and reworks it for the better. You still get a hit of that Invictus opening, but it's toned back greatly from the original. Here you have a lot more warm spice. That's gonna be the main thing you get from it, but there's a variety of sweetness. There's even some amber and tobacco that's very present here that really changes this fragrance and gives it a lot of character. And then the performance is dialed up even more. This is one that if you're getting less than eight hours, it's your skin. It's not the fragrance because I've had countless people praise this fragrance and tell me how wonderful of a performer it is for them. This is an eight plus hour fragrance. For most, it's 10 plus hours. So bordering into that beast mode territory and it projects a lot heavier than the original. This is one to be mindful of the sprays if you don't wanna to be too loud because if you go on about your seven, eight, nine spray routine that you may do with other fragrances, you're gonna definitely scream, I am here within 10 feet of someone. So performance is definitely cranked up and wanted by night. Obviously the name indicates it's geared more towards the evenings, which yes, it's a wonderful date night fragrance. This is great for a single guy on the prowl, out hitting bars, going to clubs, all these different things where you want your aroma to help attract, help pull in, receive a compliment, maybe start a conversation maybe be somewhat of an icebreaker for you. This is one of those fragrances that's good for it. Like I said, up top, still have a little touch of that sweet aquatic opening, but it's dialed way back, but it's mostly this warmth, spice, amber, vanilla benzoin sweetness, and a slight sweet tobacco in the background. There's a lavender here that gives it an aromatic appeal up top that kind of tones back a little bit of 
that sweet aquatic vibe and makes it a bit more soapy aromatic, but it's not really a soapy fragrance. It's just a little hint of it is detectable in the top. It changes the opening a lot, but not completely. So you still, it still smells like the wanted DNA is there, but it's definitely been reworked for the better. There's a reason this is the most popular in the line and one of the most popular designer fragrances out there. And again, I was talking about Kingdom Fragrances before. I just picked up a 100 ml bottle as a gift for someone that requested it for Christmas for $39. So they're cheapies now and you're getting way more for your money with a fragrance like Wanted by Night. There's still some stock left if you want to check it out for yourself. There's a link down below. At the recording of this, there's some stock left of the most wanted for 60 bucks for 100 ml and 40 bucks for Wanted by Night, 100 ml from Kingdom Fragrances. So snatch them up while you can. That's phenomenal prices. Um, it's kind of a must have in a collection, to be honest with you. Azaro Wanted by Night. The next flanker to come out is the dud of the group. I personally don't think it's as bad as some people make it out to be. I actually kind of like it. It smells like a fresh tonic, hence the name, version of Wanted. You do get a little bit of the tonic, the, uh, the Wanted vibe, but it's more about lime and ginger and stuff like that. It's easy going. It's super mass appealing. It doesn't smell bad at all. It's just got the boring tag from a lot of people, and I understand where they're coming from, but I think Wanted Tonic just doesn't get a fair shake. This is a tester bottle. That's why it's got this little sleeve. Came in a white tester box. I paid 30-something bucks for this back in 2020. I do wear it on occasion. I'm not going to sit here and act like I wear it all the time, and it's one of my favorite fragrances because that's not the case. But it's not a bad fragrance. It's decent. If you like ginger, fresh ginger-based fragrances, not that bad. Not a beast in performance. Average performer, five, six hour type of stuff. Uh, depending on your skin, if you have drier skin, it might only be like a three or four hour fragrance. If you have oily skin like me, five or six, maybe even seven hours if you're lucky. But not that bad. Like I said, it gets the boring tag because it is a generic fresh fragrance, but not so generic that it doesn't stay true to the DNA. It stays true to the DNA. It does smell like a much fresher light blue version, hence the color of the juice is fitting, of the original Wanted. It just was not well received, does not get any love. I think I might be the only person that even likes it at this point, is what it seems like. I know that's not true. There's more people out there besides me that like it, but I don't love it. I'm not sitting here praising it, saying it's some you know, very good and above fragrance. If I had to put a number on Wanted Tonic, I would say it's like a 5, 5.5 out of 10, where it's good. Nothing wrong with it. It's just not inspired. It's not inventive. It's not creative. It's more on the generic side. It's a run-of-the-mill light blue fragrance that has its differences from everything else that fits the same category as this fragrance, but nothing to deem it a special fragrance. So that's why I say I understand some of the flack it gets, but I think a little bit of it's maybe overblown. Think for yourself, get out there and try it. If it's a pass, it's a pass. But there's a possibility that you're like, you know what? It's actually not that bad. I'm gonna get a bottle. There's always that possibility. You don't know if you don't try it for yourself. But like I said, lime, ginger, if any of that sounds good, you may want to try it. But ultimately, it's nothing you need to rush out and get. It's a decent fragrance. Azaro wanted tonic. Lastly, the newest release, my personal favorite. I actually like this more than Wanted by Night. For as much praise as I gave Wanted by Night, I like this even more. That being Azaro the most wanted. A, it's super sexy looking with that matte black finish for the revolver portion, and then the black finish on the glass. It just looks great, one. Two, I actually really like the Stronger With You DNA, and this smells like taking Wanted by Night and sprinkling some Stronger With You in there, making it a bit richer, not quite as loud, but still has the longevity as Wanted By Night, then you get this. It smells so good to me. There's this sweet toffee dry down. There's this lovely warm spice up top. That slight bubblegummy Invictus Sweet Aquatic opening is still there it's maintained but just like with wanted by night it's dialed back heavily but it is still there you will still it smells like it belongs in its line it smells like a wanted fragrance and what's beautiful about this is just so rich 
this has a thicker aroma than Wanted by Night, I find. It's not as fresh. It's a bit more toned back, smooth, refined, if you will. Spicier, not as sweet, but still has a lot of sweetness. Um, this isn't some super high quality luxury fragrance. It's still a designer fragrance at the end of the day. It's got its share of synthetic smell, but not too synthetic. This is, in my opinion, one of the best designer releases of 2021. I kind of regret getting a 50 milliliter bottle, to be honest with you. And then on top of it, like I mentioned before, I paid retail for this. $76, I believe it was, for 50 ml. I had a $50 Amazon gift card, so I only spent $26 bucks plus tax, technically. But Kingdom Fragrances, for $59, has 100 milliliter bottles. That's a damn good price currently at the recording of this. So scoop them up while he's got them, like I said before, link below. Pretty much the entire line, except for the original, I think, or you might have the whole line, actually, is available from Kingdom Fragrances at the recording of this, all for phenomenal prices. And, uh, man, I just, I love this fragrance. This is one I keep going back to, and I'll continue to keep going back to. This will be a rebuy. Eventually, I'll wear this bottle down enough to where I'll get a 100 milliliter bottle at some point. This will be one of those fragrances that I rebuy and or get a backup bottle of because I like it that much. There's not a ton of fragrances in my large collection that I have backup bottles of, but this one is worthy because I love the scent that much. Yes, it performs great. It performs wonderfully. Not number one for me. Scent is number one, and the scent on this is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. If you like very warm and spicy with a nice robust sweetness that's a little different because it's toffee, so it's not the sweetness of every sweet fragrance, with still a little hit of what made this fragrance line great to begin with, you might want to check out Azaro, The Most Wanted. So that is my brief rundown of, at the recording of this, what is the entire Azaro Wanted line from Azaro Wanted, Wanted by Night, Wanted Tonic, and the newest release, The Most Wanted. Personally, I think this is one of the best designer lines out there, one of the best DNAs Azaro's ever put out, because I personally like Invictus, and I love spicy fragrances. This combined the two at the onset with the original Zara Wanted and has since created brilliant flankers from them. Obviously, Tonic being a bit of a shortcoming for the line, but Wanted by Night and the Most Wanted being absolute superstar designer fragrances, in my opinion. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. What do you have from this fragrance line? Do you have all four like I do? You just have one. If you just have one, it's probably Wanted by Night because it's super, super popular. If that's the only one you have, I understand. It might be the only one you need. Let me know down in the comments. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances in the Azara Wanted line and you give them a spray now, you might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.